Assalamu alaikum my dear ones Welcome back to your another recorded class of English Yes, this is your English literature recorded session And as you all know that I am your class teacher Ms. Jaziba Karram From the smart school Sir Sayyid Ahmed Khan campuses And Galistani Johar campus This is your grade 3 recorded class in which we are going to discuss about our chap poem the white window yes this poem has been discussed in our uh, life through live sessions as well and through our physical classes as well so uh, with the, without any wasting our time we will move forward and we will just do some literature copy work yes so I want you all to take out your English literature copy, sharp your pencils, sharp your blue color pencils because my dear students, we are about to start some written work. Alright, now after that, first page is of your title page, The White Window. Yes, the name of the author is James Stephen. He was actually an Irish novelist and a poet and he wrote many uh, of the retellings of old myths and fairy tales kind of poems and more and more of, of it and uh, this is actually the white window poem that we have discussed in our class and we are about to do some written work. Before starting off any chapter you all know the rule that you have to make the title page first then we will move to the written part of it. Alright students, now you all know that after completing your title page and your index page, we are going to start off from a very new page. Our topic is words and meaning. We are going to do some words and meanings of this poem as well. You need to write down the date at the left corner of your copy and CW on the right at the right corner of your copy. So sharp your pencils and start some written work. Yes, so the first of all, you will draw the line at the center of your copy and you will write on the left hand side words and on the right side you will write meanings. The first word is, word is folk, F-O-L-K, folk, which means people, folk means people. Number two, pretend. P R E T E N D pretend. Now, what pretend means that you make up something. For example, you are acting like as if this is happening, this and that is happening, but actually that is not happening. So, this is what pretend means that you are making up something. Three, stealing. S T E A L I N G. Stealing means moving very quietly. So, you are moving towards something. This is what. Stealing means moving quietly. Four, tippy toes. Tippy toes means walking quietly on the tips of one's toes. Means there, you have your legs and there are the tips at the end of your, at the very starting part of your uh, legs. So this is what you are walking on your tippy toes and you are walking very, very, very quietly. After completing this work, move to the next page. You can just pause this video and complete this work. I'm moving to the next slide in which we are going to start our comprehension. You all know the rule that whether you can see that if the thing is written, if I have mentioned that line with the blue uh, print, if I, it is written in blue color, so it means it is typed in blue color, so it means you have to write it with your blue color pencil. And if it is written with the, you know, the black part, so you have to write it with your black pencil. Question number one here is answer the following questions. Number part A, when does the moon come to the house? When does the moon come to the house? So the answer is the moon comes every night. Yes, the moon used to come every night just to do what? The answer of it is beneath that question. Part B. What does the moon come here to do? Moon ma kya karne aata tha? So, the moon comes to peep. Peep means to have a quick look at people. Like what are they doing? How they are doing? If they are sleeping properly? 
so this is what moon used to do he used to that moon used to comes to p c what does the person in the room do jab moon wahan aata tha to what does the person present in the room used to do answer is the person in the room pretends to sleep means that person was not actually sleeping that person actually used to pretend means act like or making something like he was sleeping and all but he actually was not sleeping at all d does the moon make any sound hmm so the question here is that does the moon make any kind of sound answer is that no the moon makes no sound at all moon koi bhi sound nahi karta tha this is a very interesting poem uh, poem and we are really enjoying doing this comprehension so let's just move to our next part part e where does the moon then go to where does the moon then go to so the answer of this one is the moon then goes to the house next door means when the moon does to peep to the one house he, she used to go to the next house then so where does the moon then go to the moon then goes to the next house part f how does the moon go to the next house what do you think that moon actually goes to the next house and how it he she used to go to the next house so the answer of this question is the moon steals by and tippy toes to the next house moon used to walk quietly on its tippy toes to the next house this is how moon used to go to the next house part g Why does the moon go next door? What do you think that why moon is going to the next door just to see or what? So the answer of this question is the moon goes next door to peep at the folk asleep there. Yes, so the moon goes to the no next door just to peep, just to have a quick look to see that whether the person is asleep or not. just to look at that sleeping person this that's why the moon used to go to the next door all right so here our uh, comprehension part is also done you can just pause your video and complete your work i am moving to the next part which is the part of rtc topic rtc you will be should sure be started from a very new page This should be written with your blue color pencil. Date on the left hand side. C W on the right hand side. Question number two. You have to answer the questions without this line from the poem. There are this one line which is written over here. You can see that she stands and stares, and then she goes. This should be written with your blue color pencil again. and in the center in the center of your copy because this is the main line we are about to answer some of the questions related to it which is rtc means reference to the context so it's part a is who stands and stares the moon does the moon stands and stares at the at the window the white window so the moon does to used to stare and stand over there part b where is the person who is being stared at where when ever a moon is uh, about to peep into the house, house next door again and again where does the person uh, actually was this your per he was that she is staring actually at so the answer of this question is in bed in his or her room why bad because it's a night time and almost all of the people were in their sound sleep time and the moon used to peep into the houses so whether the person is he or she he definitely was in the bed see where does she go after standing and staring so where does she go after standing and staring answer is she goes to the house next door now here the she is actually referring to the moon why because some of the planets are actually named after 
some of the different things like goddesses, rivers, seas, hurricanes, and they all are like man-made structures. So uh, most of the most of the time, moon is actually referred to as she. So where does she go after standing and staring? She goes to the house next door. Part D. What does she do after this? And what does she use to do after this? Answer is, she peeps at the folk asleep and she never makes a sound. Whatever the moon is does is just to go at the people's window and just to peep at them while they are sleeping and never makes a sound, never disturbs their sleep, just to peep, just to make sure that they all are enjoying and they all are having a sound sleep so here your rtc part ends and uh, i will uh, catch you guys in the next uh, live session physical class or our recorded class we all are connected through those three measures three main things that we are connected to through this hard times and inshallah we will get through this thing as well Till then, you all take care of yourselves, complete this work in your English literature copy. Good luck to you all. Stay safe, stay home, take care of yourself a lot. I will see you all in the live session or in the physical class or maybe connected through this recorded video. Who knows? So, I'm signing off. Allah Hafiz.